guys, DJ Ravine here. Uh, and this is DJ Cuts. We're here at EMC 2013 with Pioneer. Yeah, and this is the brand new CDJ 900 Nexus that's out in January. Um, there's a lot of new things on this player. It's a brand new high resolution screen here. Um, high resolution, the 2000 Nexus. Got lots of real estate for track selection, waveforms, all that type of stuff. Uh, we've got the introduction of this beat divide effect over here. Basically what it does is you uh, press the button and it will keep sampling and stuttering the effect. Sounds really freaking awesome and it's pretty easy to use so I'm sure we'll see that um, popping up around the place um, after a while. We've got a slip mode um, where you can actually do uh, vinyl breaks properly now which you couldn't on the original 900. And the introduction of this guy, Mr. Ravine. Oh, I really love this one. The sync button. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I, you know what? I don't think it's that bad anymore. No, definitely not. I, I mean, mean, if you don't like it, just don't use it. Exactly right. But, yeah, awesome for genre changes, mashups, especially when you've got four deck mixing going. But, yeah, it supports uh, full USBs, record box. Awesome player. You know, it's like the music industry's been eating all this really bad food for years and has just taken this incredible dump called EDM. And, uh, <laughs> All right, so now we've got the DDJ SR. This is essentially this bad boy right here, cut down to two channels. It's got pretty much exactly the same features as the SX, so I don't know if I need to remind you guys of that. It's got a few things that are different. So for example, this is a bit cheeky here. You don't really notice, but that's actually not really a screen like the SX here, which, has a, which tells you where the marker is. Uh, but also, but instead of that, you do get a nice little screen here, which lets you know uh, your parameters of the loops and stuff like that. It just gives you like, a, it says like 1 over 32, 1 16th, and you can have that up to, up to uh, 32 beats. Whereas here, it doesn't have it on the SX. Aside from that, everything's pretty much exactly the same. You've still got your nice filters, uh, all the effects are still here. Not much difference there. However, we do have the baby version over here. Uh, this is the DDJ SB. This is essentially the introductory level of the DDJ series. Same thing, you know, you got very similar jog wheels. It's really nice, nice feeling. You got a decent tempo slider here. We've also got your addition of your, um, you know, your hot cues, your auto loops, manual loops, sampler. You still got that kind of nice kind of stuff. It's just that instead of eight, uh, eight pads on the other ones, you only have four which is essentially all you need. Also another nice feature on this is you've got filter fade. So if you turn that on, when you're crossfading between them, instead of just crossfading the volume, it filters out one and filters in the other one. It's actually really, really cool. I wish I had that on the uh, 900 or something, like that. that'd be really cool. Sweet! So we were recently very impressed with these guys, the brand new Pioneer Studio monitors. These are the uh, eight inch speakers and very similar to the KIKs. As you know, I've got the KIK Rocket 8s. These are the, what model are these? SDJ80X and they actually kick for a room this size. They pop it up, they pump. Yeah! They go pretty damn hard, so. Apparently we're not allowed to turn it up in this place. Where are we being bad? Well, <laughs> so we've got the DJM 900 SRT. It's basically the DJM 900 Nexus, but we've got pretty blue lights. Got like the cues and all that stuff. It's blue now. Uh, this is now native with Serato. So if you plug this in USB with your laptop. It'll, automate, it'll run the Serato software, so this is essentially a DJM 900 Nexus, and they put a Serato box in here, so you don't need to have the box separately now. They also changed the uh, crossfader on this, so the crossfader is a magnetic crossfader, much like you'd find on a rain mixer, and it is freaking sweet. That's pretty much it. Hey guys, I'm here with M4 Sonic. If you guys don't know who this guy is, well, he's a big YouTuber. He's got his awesome launchpad videos. Uh, so let's just uh, go first. How did you get started? Um, pretty much, I just started sampling on a launchpad back in the bedroom, back home. Uh, a few mates came around, thought it was pretty cool. And uh, they were the ones that convinced me to put it up on YouTube. And then uh, the guys in Ovation that make the, the launchpad, I just sent them an email saying, hey, look, 
I, uh, I love your products and um, they posted their, all their social networks and just went from there. Sweet. Well, how long does it take to uh, bang out a, a track like that? Oh, it's getting quicker. It started, uh, it's like four months to make Weapon, which is probably what people know. Uh, that took ages just because I was still like developing my style. Uh, and now it's uh, down to like a fine art, a couple of weeks. Sweet, sweet. Uh, well, a lot of people don't know this, but this is the guy that created the uh, backing track for What the Fox Says. So yeah. what went what went through your head when you saw that? Oh, yeah, so look, I, uh, I work with a production team over in America called Stargate, so they, they work for like uh, Rihanna and stuff. And um, we, we made like six really serious dance tracks, and uh, that was just one of them. And uh, it was probably like the weakest of all the tracks. And um, yeah, they, uh, they know the Elvis Brothers really well. And they, they're just doing a favor, pretty much. Um, they, they say, well, we've got this really cool dance track, here you go. And um, it was Brothers made this sort of like parody track and it's just gone crazy on YouTube. And so I'm essentially a ghostwriter on that track. <laughs> like, uh, as long as people understand it's Ilvis Brothers taking the piss and having a bit of fun, it wasn't my intentions. I just made a tune on the launch pad. In fact, um, Virus. It's, uh, it's got a lot of virus samples in it, so. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, uh, either half the internet wants to kill you or half the internet <laughs> loves you right now, so. Uh, All it's right. a bit of fun, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for the interview, dude. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Abuse the 900. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs>